Hey YouTube, this is Son of Liberty. I hope this uh, video finds everyone well this Labor Day weekend. Today I'm sitting in my truck and I I've been wanting to share some information with you guys in regards to this for several weeks now. Uh, when I first purchased this truck, I decided to make some, uh, some changes to it so that it would help me in uh, particular situations and I call it prepping my truck. Now, uh, some of you guys may be asking what that exactly means. Well, um, we prep our homes for attacks, maybe in a uh, you know grid down SHTF situation. We prepare our minds with our skill set. Um, we physically prepare our bodies to be able to handle anything that um, you know a collapse in society or anything that the world may throw at us. We prepare our you know our bodies for that. But uh, you know what do we do to prepare our vehicles? Okay, we spend a lot of time in our vehicles. They they take us uh, to our, our our jobs, our friends and families to visit anywhere that we go. Uh, they are our modern day horses. So I, I wanted to uh, implement a few things. That, you know, I, I'm going to share a personal fear that I have. I have a fear of being trapped in my vehicle, and not being able to get out. Um, whether that be in water, whether that just be turned over, the vehicle catches on fire. Um, you know, it, you know, it's a fear that I have, but also too, you know, what if my family's with me? You know, what if there's a, uh, you know, a tragedy that uh, takes my life and I'm not able to help my family? What things can I do to, uh, you know, further assist them um, with with getting out of the vehicle? And of course, I've, my family knows about these uh, these features, but I'm going to share a couple of them with you and show you a few other things that I've done. Normally we carry our bug out bags with us, but this is a, a little bit different variation. Um, that's pretty much the given with most people. Um, so let's take a look at those and uh, I hope you guys like what you see. I'm going to share with you guys here the, uh, the first one. Uh, let's say I'm trapped in the vehicle and I need to actually communicate with uh, other people, okay? Let's say I don't have my cell phone or my cell phone. Or my cell phone was damaged in the uh, the accident, and maybe it just happens to be one of those days that I forgot it. A ham radio will give you the ability to be able to communicate with either emergency services or other individuals to be able to get help uh, just by giving them a location of where you're at, explaining the situation. Maybe you're off a ravine and you're trapped and you're too badly injured to be able to leave your vehicle, and you do need to wait for help. That is one option uh, that uh, you know that I've installed in here to make this. Um, you know, a little bit safer. So, uh, and of course, it's already pre-programmed uh, for different stations. It's locked right now, but it is pre-programmed for different stations so that that way, if maybe that line is busy or maybe there's a problem with that tower um, relay station, I can switch to another channel. Now, this particular radio is set up to where um, when I kill the, the truck, the ignition of the truck, uh, the power does stay on. So I can turn this on and off uh, separately from the ignition. That's the way that it's set up. So uh, again, it's not a guarantee to always work in, a, in an accident depending on what kind, but it is a it is a viable option. So there's one thing. Number two is uh, some of you guys may have seen, try to back up here a little bit. This is the um, uh, this is the visors, the tactical visors from SOE. Um, they make some really great products. Uh, you can see all the different molly webbing, the Velcro, it's actually got an internal sleeve here. And on the other side, it also has a sleeve located there. Sorry about that, son. Um, I keep a EpiPen here because I have bee allergies, so that's important for me. I also keep one of the uh, Gerber uh, multi-tools, which this thing is awesome because this gives me the ability to um, use this Part of the uh, scissors here, which is a window breaker, okay? Of course, it, it folds out into a pair of scissors. It can, um, uh, you know, uh, you know. I, I said Gerber, I apologize, it's Leatherman Raptor. Um, you know, I can cut myself out of the uh, seat belt with this as well, okay? That's one option that I have available for me, okay? Over here on the driver's side, I have a Gerber seat belt cutter here. Now I can reach this with my left or my right hand, okay? Um, so even if my left hand was uh, maybe damaged by a side collision and I needed to get out, I can still reach this with my right hand. But the benefit for me attaching this to the, um, 
this handle here is that the anybody that is sitting in the back seat can also reach it as well now one of the benefits with the way that I've got this thing looped up is that even if it comes here and falls there I can still reach it so it's it's not a big deal um, now I've also included one on the opposite side for anybody sitting in the passenger seat or on the back over here so those are you know um, you know viable option for them they can also use I'm not sure if you guys seen that on this back end here they can also bust out the seat uh, the uh, window if they need to uh, exit the vehicle that way they can use this piece um, of it as well so that's another option that uh, that's available to them now let's take a look at something else that may be overlooked by some people in a grid down SHTF situation um, you need to make sure that you have a lock um, gas cap to prevent your uh, gas from being ciphered out. Can people crawl up underneath your vehicle and drain your gas that way? Absolutely. Most people, um, if, if it's a quick, uh, you know, a, a hit and run type situation where they just want to grab your gas and go, are not going to take the effort and the time in order to, uh, to do that. So anyway, this is just a simple step uh, uh, prevention measure that you can go to um, to prevent your gas from being stolen. So let's go take a look at a, uh, another safety feature as well. Now, if I am sitting, I'm, I'm located now in the passenger seat of my truck. Um, I have uh, securely installed a IFAC located directly under here, which can be reached with your foot. Um, so that that way that I also have a, um, a very advanced medical IFAC kit with me. Uh, this actual kit is also from SOE. Uh, they make uh, really good quality gear. I will be doing a review of this actual kit before. You may recognize this. Um, you may recognize this from an earlier video. You know, that's just another option that I have if I am trapped inside of my vehicle. I can't get out. Um, that's just one additional um, means of uh, trying to preserve some life um, if the case may call for it. Um, in the, in a, you know in a, in a disaster type situation a car accident or, or um, you know if that be the case now I also do carry medical uh, an extensive medical bag with me um, you know for uh, further more advanced trauma all right I'm in the back seat of the truck now I thought that would be easier to show you this additional prep um, located here um, are these uh, drop down boxes that uh, people put um, all kinds of stuff in uh, mostly glasses, business cards, garage door openers, etc. But what I wanted to do is install something, uh, a medical uh, necessity to stopping blood loss, um, and that is a tourniquet. So uh, what I've done is I've just wrapped a some of the uh, computer cord um, Velcro ties, just wrapped it around the bottom. Uh, I didn't loop it through, so that way it's, uh, all I have to do is pull that right there. Uh, and it will be free, but that just kind of keeps it all together nice and neat. Uh, and it fits perfectly up in there so that that way that that always stays there, um, you know, without a doubt. And so that's just an additional thing that I've done. And of course, I've got room. I could put one more. Um, I also carry um, at all times with me a uh, fire extinguisher. You can pick these up very inexpensively at Walmart. This one's actually more designed for... Uh, chemical fires, uh, or excuse me, gasoline type fires or electrical fires. Uh, I picked it up in the boating section, and uh, in my experience, that's most of the types of um, types of fires that that uh, I feel that you're going to experience. I guess in a uh, in a multi-vehicle car accident or even a single car accident. So anyway, I hope that some of these uh, ideas um, uh, that uh, that I've shared with you guys today uh, will benefit you and your family, uh, or if it at least sparks some ideas uh, for you to uh, add some additional things to your vehicle to help uh, prepare for you and your family. All right, guys, thanks so much. Have a great day.